When people think about underground work at the Nevada National Security Site, they usually focus on what might be hidden below the surface. But before you can hide anything underground, you have to deal with something very real above it. Material. In this video, we're looking at a location inside the NNSS where large volumes of material appear to be moved out of the ground. Not by trucks alone, but through conveyor and rail systems designed for continuous removal. This isn't surface level excavation, and it isn't small scale. We can see how the material is handled, where it's staged, and how it's transported. But what we can't immediately see is where all of it's coming from, and that question leads somewhere very unexpected. Let's start with what caught my eye. So when we were examining our last uh, location, you, you can clearly see these roads that are run throughout these uh, these bases, and I and I just followed this, and and I took this this turn right here, and it just happened to lead up to kind of this dead end up here. And when you look closer, you know, there's rail there's rails here, and and I'm oh my gosh, an entrance right or something going in, and I just don't think that's what that is. I think that rail stops right there. I think, and it goes right underneath whatever this is. And, and when I originally saw this, I thought that was uh, old mining infrastructure or because or, it looks rusty and old, right? When I fed that these tubes into some AI, um, it suggested to me that these were conveyor belt systems. And they look, they just, because it's grainy, you just in the shadows, you can't really see their real form. Um, and and that, that's what sparked my interest. And not only that, I mean, there's giant power here. We have some water towers or some kind of towers above this. And even farther above, we have some kind of uh, trailer or building. It wasn't there in 2016 or so. Let's get a 3D look at this location so you can kind of dive in. And this really helps. Look at that. Let's start to look at these rail systems historically. There's one, and I don't remember the exact year, but it really caught my eye because the rails line up going underneath of this. Uh, one real quick. Look at these buildings here. These caught my eye. There is some kind of line running in to the mountain here and I assume that's maybe electrical wire something is going in to the mountain here anyway let's look let's look at look at some of these shoots here and you can see the rail systems there and alive in 2024 and these carts were rolled up here now they're rolled back over here in a holding in a holding pattern so think can be moved out of here right and look at these are the carts see these those are rail carts for loading in dirt where do they go? Onto the back of that semi truck right there. And where do they go from there? And a lot of viewers of the channel are going to see the theme here. A giant quarry. And let's look at the use of some of the roads at some of the main turns. So down the road from this uh, supposed uh, material removal, we got a lot of traffic here. Now, if a truck was coming out, it would make this turn, and if it was truck was coming back in, it would make this turn. And look where all the tire markings are at. Further down the road, we have this. This is for big trucks so they can turn around easily, so they don't have to go up here and make this, you know, 45-degree angle turn. They can just easily glide here and here. Look where the tire tracks are. So it almost looks like traffic comes down, follows here, comes back, and follows here. And since they only can go, they go out and in, that's why this is so dark with tread. And where's that go? Right back down to that quarry. On what? A really big, uh, heavy-duty industrial road. Paved all the way. Goes right up to a dead end. What's here? Big power station. Now, let's, let's dive right into the historical analysis of these chutes. Even though it's snowy there, you can really get a good look. You see, it almost like the chute lines more up with the track. Hey, look, there's fresh tracks in the snow. They're doing stuff right in here. That's not covered in snow. 
So you can tell the trucks are, you know, constantly doing that pattern. And see, it's almost as if the tr is, is, is completely shifted there. But see, these things are lined up. They're lined up on that rail system. There's a truck right there. 2016. Again, carts lined up. 2009. And that's where we lose it. So let's let's look over at some other imagery sources. Here's our GIS 2023. So let's go down to 2014. And we're just going to cruise up these now. Twenty twenty. Don't see a lot of action on these pictures. And it's almost like those two look almost identical, though you can see that they're different. There's a clear picture right there. And at the, at the angle, it's almost like that track lines directly up underneath that. And that is what I think is the conveyor belt. That's up to March 2025 right there. And see, when I originally was looking at this, I was, that looks like something there, right? Something there. But the, the rail just stops. And it's like that's th that looks like maybe the house where stuff comes up and then whoosh, pulls down. Up, pulls down into these carts, into the truck, wherever it needs to go. Let's go ahead and... see maybe when this place was built now look there is 1959 maybe it's an old mining site at that point no water tower no power infrastructure 1983 starts it starts getting going and it's i don't see any shoots in that picture those shoots are not coming off the mountain And it even looks like the road completely went up to a different spot in 1983, but still paved. They're doing something, even in 1983 there. Now, for the bigger picture, right? Okay, where, why would they be moving dirt out? You know, some of the entr entrances we were looking at were, you know, down way in here. Here's the Tonopah test range up here. Where would some of this material be moved out from and this is the cliffhanger for the next video look at that those i and i don't want to draw you know i don't want to for sure say that's an entrance i don't know what that is but it sure to me looks like they cut down in that mountain right there. And we're going to, in the next video, historically go over this location. And you're going to see that these were cut. This was not always here. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think this location is, if it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, let's talk about it. Anyway, thank you very much and take care.